Hi guys, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming, and uh, the cats are running around. They're kind of ignoring the TV now, um, so I'm sure they might notice it again, but that, that's one of their favorite things to watch, and you know, I don't ever get to watch anything except I do watch YouTube, a whole lot of videos um, on my... Uh, on my laptop. So, um, welcome to all of my new subscribers. Uh, welcome to those who have been with me for a while and welcome to those who have been with me since the very beginning. Um, this is a bod hat a palooza. It is Tuesday and Tuesday we do bod hat a palooza. I uh, started Bod Hatapalooza um, because we have a very large homeless community in the North Pole Fairbanks area. And I wanted to do a little something um, to, to help. And so I started making hats. And, um, you know, all they really ever asked for was hats. So um, I thought, you know, I asked them, well, you know, what about scarves? Can we make some scarves too? And they said, oh, definitely, yes. So um, I kind of set myself up for failure by uh, doing a, a scarf a day. Um, I'm not doing a scarf a day. I am, you know, for now. Um, but, you know, in the summertime, uh, I'll, I'll do a couple. Um, but, I, you know, just enough to stock up for the beginning of the winter. So, with that in mind, um, Crystal from Bag a Day has 150 something hat tutorials. And uh, right now, this is our second year. So, we will have enough for our three years of uh, hats to donate. And um, that's what, if I like the hat that is made through Bod. Um, I will keep that and um, make just a, a vanilla beanie and um, donate the vanilla beanie. If I don't like the hat or if it doesn't fit me, um, I, I donate the, the bod hat. So with that in mind, we this is the conclusion of week number two. And um, we are getting ready to start week number three. So... This is where my week number two hat. Um, I got the yarn that I used from, from Nancy, from She's Got Yarn. I uh, do not recommend this yarn. Uh, it's an ice yarns, and I used two and... Um, two and maybe a yard or two out of this one. Uh, here we go. Um, it's Ice Yarns and Monaco is the type of yarn. And I can't remember the color, but I think it's, you know, like um, pink, purple, blue, or purple, pink, blue, something like that. So here it is. I do not like this yarn. I do not recommend this yarn at all. Oops. It feels, I don't even know how to even, it, it kind of feels scrub brushy. It's very, very rough. Um, and I feel bad even sending this to be used, but it is a hat. And, you know, maybe it'll it'll be stuck at the bottom of a bin for whenever, but um, it'll still at least keep the head warm. So I have not added this into my computer yet, so I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to put this back over there because I still have um, eight of these to use. I do not think... This will work very well in my Addy, but I will try it. I uh, 
but yeah, it's a medium four weight. There's not very many yards to this, so uh, I don't even think the Addy would be, I might get a scarf long enough. I'll try it. That'll, that'll be my scarf that I try tomorrow is to use this. Though I don't think anybody would want it, to be honest with you. Because this is some pretty harsh yarn. At least it is to me. And I still have numbness in my hands. So if it's rough to me, it's going to be rough. So, um, that's my thoughts on this yarn. My thoughts on this hat. Um, no, it wasn't because of the yarn um that i used um but i i did not like the hat um and uh it won't fit me even though it stretches it it won't fit me um but the the first the first thing god man this thing is full of hair maybe i'll just stick it outside or on a snowman <laughs> i'll build a little snowman um Here's the hat. I just, yeah, I, I don't like it. The first thing that I did not like about it um, was the brim. It's a bottom up. I prefer hats that are top down. Um, even though they are harder for me to fit, um, I still like a top down hat. Uh, I just thought the, I could have shortened the rim and I was going to, but then I was like, I'm going to have to do more back post single crochets. But you know what? I did not do a single back post single crochet and I still got the look of it. There we go. There's the look of a back post single crochet, but... What I did was single crochet in the third loop. There we go. So, that is my hat. Whether it gets donated or not, I don't know. Because um, this is a, a pretty rough hat. So, now, with that in mind, it is time to... Time to pick week three's hat so i'm gonna take this out here we go uh i have added two more hats to um this so if you want to pick a number i think we have 105 hats now let's see Yes, we have 105 hats now. So if you are interested in picking a number, oops, I do have some blank ones in here still. If you are interested in picking a number, please leave it in the comments. Um, I get lost, or things get lost in my email. Um, so please leave it in the comments. It's easier for me. Pick a number between 1 and 105. There we go. So I'm shuffling them up. And I'll do it this way too to make sure that they all get mixed up. <laughs> okay, and let's see. I do have one. I don't want those to spill. So let's see if we're going to like this hat. Donna Knox has picked number 62. Well, there we go. 62. So, I can't remember the two numbers that we have picked. 24 and... Um, oh, I don't have it on here. And 37. So, 62 should be good. So, let's find out... what hat it's going to be. 
what did we say? 62. We did this one, didn't we? Oh, God. Oh, no. We didn't. Okay. I'm going to blame Donna. Okay. This one is called Easy Crochet Sun Hat. It's another bucket hat. A crochet bucket derby hat. You know, it's another one of those that's out here. All righty. All right, Donna. I'm blaming you. <laughs> it's not quite how I wanted to, to start off the year. But, you know, if we get the ones that I don't like out of the way, then the ones that I do like will be left. So let me put this in here. So if you don't like the hat, um, you have Donna Knox to complain to. I uh, don't know if there is... There is no tutorial number, so I will put the link below. Um, Donna Knox, I'm blaming you. I can already tell you I'm not looking forward to... Uh, what are you eating? Tildy, no. Okay. I'm not looking forward to making this hat. Um, I will link it below. She, she made hers, of course, out of green. 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 Yeah. Okay. So, um, that is all for Bod Hotapalooza. Hot Bod Hotapalooza. Please, if you are interested, let me see. If you're interested in having your the picture of the hat that you make in um, the slideshow, all you have to do is email me and put, you know, Bod Hotapalooza on it. And I will get it. My email is always listed down below. Um, I use your first name and your last initial. If you don't even want me to use that, just tell me, you know, you want to be anonymous. And I'll just put anonymous on there. Um, if you have a channel, I will put your first name and your channel. And um, it'll go from there. So we have quite a few hats um, that I have to add in here. So, uh, yes, stay, stay tuned and watch the slideshow of all of the marvelous hats. I haven't seen them yet, but I know that they're marvelous because they are not mine. And uh, mine was not marvelous. I'm sorry. Crystal, you know, I love 99% of the patterns that you make. This hat was not one of them. And a lot of it might have had to do with the yarn because that yarn was terrible 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 ice yarn throw that yarn away um uh, it's, it's horrendous so um i am headed out thank you everybody for watching you guys have a great day and i will talk to you next time bye bye